Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday to everyone. How is everybody doing today on this fine Sunday afternoon? This is Miss C. Temptation coming at you again with another commentary of Chicago Talk. I want to begin this video by saying namaste, peace be on to you and everybody that's watching this video. Now, this afternoon's topic, let me, let me kind of back up for a minute. I want to say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to anyone that's watching this, whatever time. Now, today's video, I'm going to talk about double standard people. Lord have mercy, baby. You got so many goddamn st double standard people in this world today. It's not even fucking funny. And I'm sitting, I mean, I'm reading these stories. I said, God damn, what in the blue hell is going on with our society today? Personally, I just don't get it. I mean, people are just, you know, setting on these different standards. And then they turn around and do the complete opposite. They do a 360 flip. I don't, I don't understand this, though. I mean, my whole thing is, though, lead by example, practice what the fuck you preach, and start up all this old bullshit. You know, I don't know what's wrong with people. Now, two people in particular. Now, the first person I'm going to talk about. Uh, now, for those of you who know, I'm, I am a, a faithful subscriber to Walter Lee Hampton's vi uh, channel. Uh, he talked about this dude. Uh, name, his, he goes by the name of Walter, I mean, I'm sorry, um, Michael Willis Hurd. Okay, that's his name, Michael Willis Hurd. He said that he saw on his Twitter page, now this man is supposed to be a so-called allegedly pastor, motivational speaker, a father, um, a sex counselor, and all this old bullshit, and came to find out, he said that he had, he had viewed uh, pornography videos on Twitter and him involved in it. Now, personally, when I did the research on this, I did look on Twitter, you know, because I don't be on Twitter that much. I look on it once in a while. Um, I didn't see anything in particular as far as any porns that he did, but my understanding is he's supposed, you're supposed to be a, a part of your uh, his fan page. But what I did notice, though, on Instagram, uh, he was posing with some sort of man. I don't know who it was, but he sat up there and kissed Michael on the cheek. And then not to mention on Facebook, he had did a Facebook, I guess it was a Facebook live video. But when I reviewed, I mean, I saw a little bit of the video, like a snippet of it. He's standing up there with his, with his, uh, with no shirt on and his chest hanging out with his nipples hard. I'm sitting up here going like, what the fuck is really going on? You calling yourself being a pastor, but you want to be on Facebook standing there with no shirt on? I mean, damn. And then not to mention, though, know, he's taking pictures, though, with these other dudes, though, all hugged up, kissy, all kissy face and all this. Baby, when I saw all that, I said, that is straight up suspect. But you call it yours. He calls himself being a pastor, a motivational speaker, and a couples therapist, and sex counselor and stuff. You know, that to me right there, that man is a con artist. He's a liar, and he's a bullshitter trying to get people get money out of motherfuckers. So, for those of you though that who are actually subscribed though I mean to him on his Facebook page Instagram and his Twitter unsubscribe though I wouldn't give that son of a bitch not one goddamn dime and not to mention go to him for counseling and then on top of that he's doing around and doing all this other crazy shit though and I'm going like what the hell is this now man that's just I mean that whole situation to me is just really deep it's really sad see and that shows you right there though you can never put your trust in these so called alleged ministers because you know as it says in the so called scripture it does says though that a man with a double mind is very unstable and that right there though that's a prime example of this man Michael Willis heard to be a very unstable individual you know, and I'm not the type that'll sit up here and hate on anybody, but when I saw those pictures on his Facebook and Instagram, that was straight up suspect to me. And I'm like, man, I wouldn't even waste my valuable time with this man. I mean, because people need to understand is this, though. I mean, the creator is working through you and within you, and you just have to find that motivation within yourself, though. Don't be sitting up and depending on somebody else, though, that uh, to give you that motivation, because you depend on someone else. They're not going to be working towards your highest good, though, if that makes sense. So... But, uh, yeah, definitely leave a comment on the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think about this man named Michael Willis Hurd. You know, a fraud, a phony, a liar, a double standard bastard. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. And I had to sit back like, what in the hell is this goddamn society coming to? I just don't know. And it's really sad. 
Now, the next person I want to talk to that's on some double standard shit is Miss Oprah Winfrey herself. And yes, I did see the video. I see, did see the clip, though, where she was up there giving a speech, talking, I mean, talking with people about balance, but she turned around and tripped and fell on her heels. You know, my thing is, though, she's the one that needs balance. And not only that, look at all the people that she did wrong, you know, talking about uh, backing up her friend Gail, talking about Kobe Bryant like a dog, trying to ruin his legacy, you know, by bringing up old news that happened back 2008, you know, and the man just lost his life along with his daughter. Then you want to sit up here and disrespect Michael Jackson's legacy, and then not to mention, no, I mean, and I know about the history about Miss Oprah Winfrey, going back to the history of AM Chicago, if you want to go there, goddammit, not to mention, She's going around trying to build a school out in Africa. But hell, what about all these schools that's closed that's been closing these black schools cl schools closing in Chicago? What type of uh, contribution are you making to your own city of Chicago that brought you up to the level where you at being a millionaire, Miss Oprah Winfrey, with your double standard ass? Go somewhere and sit your ass down somewhere though, cause you ain't, you know, you got all this money though. I mean, yeah, you kiss it up to Uncle Tom and all these other people, but you forgot about your own people, especially in Chicago if you really want to fucking go there you know how dare you you know you want to talk about balance and all this other stuff and being connected but you're not even you disconnected your damn self baby I mean, if I were you I would check yourself though you better do some soul searching though because that look I mean that's not a good look and that's not a good example you putting out to the people so that's all I got to say about that. But I personally, I do not get down with double standard people. That is not my thing. Because my thing is, lead by example, practice what you preach. That's all I got to say about that. Because, you know, seeing these two people, now, I mean, that just really made me fucking sick to my stomach, though. And people need to just wake up, leave these churches alone. Don't depend on black people, you know, that's kissing up to, to Uncle Charlie and whatever the fuck. You know, you need to start depending on your own self. Get educated. Get right get your mind right get your spirit right get your soul right and stand on your own door knowing who the creator is and knowing that the creator is working through you and stop depending on man especially in these so-called goddamn churches though that don't mean that don't mean any good to anybody because the only thing they want is one thing they just trying to simply get money out of our people in our community and that's all i gotta say leave a comment on the bottom smash that like button let me know what you think about these two stories share and subscribe and that's all I got to say. So, people, I, I wish you a very good Sunday. I bid you a great Sunday. You know, my, I, always tell, I always say in my videos, love yourself. If you don't love anybody else, love yourself. So, my outro, I'm going to kick it to you. I'm going to say that I love you. I bless you. I have faith in you. And I realize the creator in each and every one of you. So, guys, until the next video, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to drop the mic. Have a great afternoon, morning, evening, or whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you on the next go-around. And I bid you peace. And again, namaste.